What's up guys, Tony here from Boost Aspirations bringing you another video. This is going to be the 2018 Carlutions video. So if you remember from last year, if you were around back then at least, uh, we did a video in the beginning of the year called Car Resolutions, we called it Carlutions. And uh, the, basically the nuts and bolts of that was that we wanted to, um, oh it's nice BMW over there. Uh, Z4 uh, but basically it was like what would we like to do our cars in 2017 and so obviously the big turbo was the biggest thing we wanted to get done or I wanted to get done in 2017 uh, and we did it and so we were able to keep that resolution uh, so this year I thought it'd be kind of cool to come out here and and do another one and kind of do a walk around and sort of a snapshot as we have an airplane take it off so I thought it'd be a good idea to come back and do another one and do sort of a snapshot of, of a now and then um, situation. So, you know, for 2019, or at least the year in 2018, we can actually take a look and see what did I do? Did I achieve my goals, basically? You know, it's like a photo record, photo video record of uh, my car resolutions for 2018. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Uh, in 2017, obviously we did the big turbo. Um, Going into 2018, there's a couple things I'd like to do performance-wise, but 2018 is going to be much more of a, of a visual aesthetics year for me, which is going to be kind of difficult because I'm not very much into the visual aspects, but you know, there's some things that I've seen online that I think could improve. But um, so one thing performance-wise I'm going to do this year is I'm going to replace the intercooler. And uh, while I do like the FS Works intercooler kit that I have, it works great for the stock turbo, keeps the charge temperatures down, very efficient for the stock turbo. Uh, for the big turbo, it's not handling it. Um, my charge temperatures are up, you know, 90 degrees like all the time. And so I'm used to having charge temps, you know, like a couple of degrees above ambient, um, not 20 degrees above ambient all the time. I'm looking at like a Mishimoto kit or I don't know, I've seen altitude, I've seen levels. So I haven't quite picked out the intercooler that I want to get. So from an aesthetic standpoint, what I might do is I might actually cut out the grill. Um, I do kind of like having it hidden. I've, I've always been much more of a guy that's interested in like low key, you know, sleeper style. But there is something about having a giant front mount intercooler on a turbocharged car that just like looks awesome. And I've always wanted to do it. What I want to do for the front is actually want to replace the headlights. I do really like the ST1 headlights, uh, but the halo headlights, I actually want to get the smoked halo headlights. Um, I would love to do like a yellow um, fog light, this the gel, kind of cover that up. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing with the hood is I'm going to do a carbon fiber hood. I don't want to do um, RS vents. I don't really like the vents, uh, but I actually would like to do carbon fiber. And so maybe what I'll do is the only other two ideas I've had is to do like a carbon fiber hood, maybe get the roof wrapped black, and then maybe like that RS wing uh, with the, the, the secondary wing wrapped in black. So it's like black, 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 I don't know. We're on the side of the car here. We'll talk about the wheels real quick. I love the premium wheels that came with my car. I really do. They just don't really scream race car. <laughs> they really just are not aggressive enough. I like the European ones like that are all gunmetal. But the ones that are like gunmetal and black, I, mean, I love it. I love the wheel. I really do. But I just want something a little bit more racy, I guess. Um, I've been looking at maybe a white wheel. Because what I've noticed on STs is either they're black, all black, um, or gunmetal, or yellow, or bronze. I don't like bronze wheels, so I don't want to do bronze on this car. Um, so it's either going to be sort of a gunmetal or maybe a white. I don't know. What do you guys think? Top. Um, I'm going to be replacing the stock antenna with the shark fin. Uh, I already have it. I just haven't done it yet. It's just me being lazy. Um, but I'm going to get around to the shark fin. You know, is maybe doing wing risers. Now, the thing is with the wing risers is that I own a set already. I just need to put them on. It's just that every now and again when I look at my car, I don't really mind it with the wing the way it is. It doesn't bother me at all. But then when I see like O'Brien's car with the wing up and risen the way it is, I'm like, hmm, that looks pretty good. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. Let me know, let me know in the comment section uh, what your thoughts are on the wing risers. But I do want to do the red third brake light. I really think that for whatever reason, I think they should have done the red brake light, but I don't know why it went clear, but whatever. If you happen to have a Fiesta and you want a white one and you're in San Diego, let me know and we can definitely make that happen. Going back to the back of the car, I already know what I want to do here. This is pretty much the one thing that I've been 
looking at since the first time I ever saw the RS is um, I wanted to do, I want to actually do a full RS conversion in the back, the bumper and the mufflers and you know, I like the dual exhaust look. I saw it on an ST, it was a show, I think it was a SEMA show car a few years back. And I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, but I saw someone did it and it was like $2,000 or something like that. I was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, but anyways, what I wanna do is Maxon Design, they do a rear valence, with, which basically the rear valence will cover up all the black. And so uh, it'll be RS-like back there. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna definitely pull the trigger on that one probably the next month or so, and then go get it painted and, and stuck on there. All right guys, so those are my thoughts on my car and what I'm gonna be doing this year. Let me know in the comment section below uh, what you guys are gonna be doing um, to your car this year. I know we did the uh, giveaway last week, so the winner is Arben Zeba. Do us a favor, email us. Um, email is gonna be down below in the uh, description and uh, send us your contact information and we'll get you out the shirt, uh, the stickers, and of course that 10 millimeter socket for you. All right guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, we shall talk to you guys later.